A lot of news breaking uh, about Trump and his legal woes. The Supreme Court yesterday rejected Trump's argument that his uh, executive papers um, regarding events surrounding the 6th of January were privileged papers and, uh, couldn't, and could not be released or exposed after two law courts had ruled that they were, that the January 6th committee could have them. The executive privilege w would not, did not extend to that issue. And so the matter ended up in the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court did a couple of things I thought were fascinating. Number one, they acted on it right away. Usually, you something goes to the Supreme Court, you don't hear about it for another year. It gets buried over there. But realizing that time is of the essence, the Supreme Court ruled on it, ruled on it yesterday, and they ruled against Trump. A, a decision, eight to one decision, saying that the papers should be released. Now, these are the papers, drafts and statements and movements and phone calls and discussions and meetings surrounding what Trump knew about January 6th and from the date of time, obviously, that the election he lost in November of 2020. And so those papers are now in the hands of the January 6th committee. That was, that was a, that was a me mega blow to Trump. Um, but that's not what I want to talk to you about. What I want to talk to you about, the one justice, even Neil Gorsuch and um, Brett Kavanaugh and the, the, the appointees to the Supreme Court by Trump, three of them, all voted against him. Um, and, and they should vote for justice. We think the courts would act that way all the time. But this one justice, Clarence Thomas, the Hamite brother, right? He's been on the court since 1991. He, he never really says anything. When lawyers appear before the bar, the bench, or the court to uh, raise questions or present a case, Clarence Thomas just sitting there like an old owl and looks. He never says anything. And I, I'm here today to start a movement to impeach Clarence Thomas. You know, he, he got no business on the Supreme Court. Impeach him. Uh, and Democrats, and not that I'm a Democrat or that I would ever be one, uh, but yeah, leave that there for just a second, Mr. Engineer. We need to impeach Clarence Thomas. He need to be off the court. And all Americans, get rid of him. He ain't no third good marshal, I can tell you that right. Get rid of the boy. He's, 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 he's uber, if you will, right of center. Uh, he has never made, he's been on the court now for 30 years and he's made no significant contributions to the court. Uh, you know, he's no Thurgood Marshall. He got on the, he got on the bench, uh, President George H.W., whatever that means, Herbert Walker Bush, that's the first Bush, put him on the court in a, in a hailstorm. I mean, he had obviously sexually harassed Anita Hill. And that's the other thing. We need to free Anita Hill. We need to ex exonerate Anita Hill, need to give her restoration money. They, they kicked that woman in the teeth. Because um, Clarence Thomas sexually harassed her. Um, and, and then she made a statement about his worthiness of being on the court. And George Herbert Walker Bush and a bunch of uh, Republicans dragged that woman into here through the garbage. And uh, they dragged her uh, through, uh, it, it, so it, it, she needed to be restored. But you impeach Clarence Thomas. Get rid of him. And, and George Herbert Walker Bush put him on the court. We get a black man on the court, you know, another third, third good marshal for whatever you want to say. I think he was an extraordinary jurist and justice and a lawyer as well, I, you know. Uh, but uh, Clarence Thomas ain't no, get rid of him. Impeach Clarence Thomas. Impeach Clarence Thomas. Impeach Clarence Thomas now. Uh, he, he just, he's, he, what, he, you know, I don't care who you put on the court, you know, but get rid of him. And you can put another conservative, I don't care, you can put a MAGA hat wearing, I'd be more comfortable with a MAGA hat, Ku Klux Klan, but not, it's Clarence Thomas, boy. He, what? Get rid of him. He, he, he's, he's, he's worthless, and, he, he's, and, and, and not because of the vote yesterday that I think he ought to be impeached. You know, and I, I somehow or another, you know, they ought to restore Anita Hill. Uh, I, so I've said that, so I'm repeating myself, but I, it's worth repeating that Anita Hill needs to be restored um, for what they did to, uh, did to her. 
Uh, if, I don't know if you were. I watched that on television. That was one of the most heated nominations I have ever seen. I thought Brett Kavanaugh was very interesting, um, you know, because he was accused of doing something similar to some of these Japheth women when he was in school or something like that. You remember Brett Kavanaugh, a whole lot of women was t testifying that boy sexually harassed them as well. And he might have done it. You know, he may, I don't know. But, and it was interesting to watch that. But it was really, it was sad to watch Anita Hill and Clarence Thomas. And then this, finally, they put him on the bench. You know, after excoriating her and, 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 and blacklisting her, you know, and, and, and sending her off on, on a, a long trip to Hong Kong, uh, and then they put, and he's done nothing. He brought no, he's brought no special prestige. He's brought no Hamite prestige. You got a Hamite brother on the court. He ain't done none of that. Get rid of him, impeach him. You know, they say a Supreme Court justice is there for life. Well, his, he ain't got no, his life is, you get rid of, impeach Clarence Thomas, impeach Clarence Thomas, impeach Clarence Thomas, and do it now. Me, I'm James Abin Manning. I'm the Lord's servant. When you